A demolition gang was finishing off work begun by alcohol and heroin. The nine houses in Lewis Street were among the last rows of terraces standing on the block. The derelict homes had become illegal shooting galleries for heroin addicts. ATSIC provides the funding for the demolition which is carried out by the Aboriginal Housing Company. Residents of the block are deeply suspicious of the company's motives and say it's planning a commercial development. Just since that we had homes here once, we are indigenous people, but nobody wants because we're not full-blooded Aborigines. Residents found they had some support. A small group of protesters from the Victoria Park Tent Embassy marched to the block. Now we're trying to keep this community together, but people want to move people out because it's an eyesore. Well, we're concerned about the eyesore our country's turned into. The Aboriginal Housing Company says it had no choice but to demolish the houses. They've become a fire hazard. Actually, yesterday we had a fire there that almost set up all the, all the terraces, even the ones that were occupied. The company also denies it's planning a commercial development because it says the land is zoned residential. The vacant land on the block could soon be filled again because the tent embassy is to be relocated to Redfern. We've already lit the sacred fire here and that's the first part of us setting up our Aboriginal tent embassy. The bulldozers may have won the day, but whatever comes of this site, the block will always have a place in history as the source of urban Aboriginal activism. John Shovlin, ABC News.